All right, I will be doing a review on this. This is the unboxing right here. Now this has been really nice. Oh, let me get my fan notes. All right, so let me slap this bad boy on. I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll cut back with my actual review. Let's get like that. Oh, all right, so we got all tied off and everything, and it's done. So you can see I got a bunch of gear on here. Look at the D-Money chilling on the inflatable. But it looks pretty cool. You got little bottle holders. Give me a sweet lady when I reach my destination. All right, well, kind of rude for you to just pop up on me while I'm down here on the bayou, right? I don't know what the hell I'm saying. So anyway, <laughs> obviously we have a bench storage right here, mainly gonna be used probably in inflatable boats. This thing I felt like was a must have just from the idea of having some cushion on these hard seats. Now, especially on an inflatable boat, you're gonna be kind of bouncing around a little bit more. So any kind of cushion you could get is gonna be great. This is about just about an inch, three quarters of an inch of foam. It's all right, it does the job, but it has a lot of other great features too. So you've probably seen some of the video footage by now, maybe one or two of my comments, but I'm gonna go a little more in depth to what it looks like, uh, the storage capabilities, uh, what I actually have in here, what can fit, and then, you know, some final thoughts. So let's just get started. You can see I was sitting on it very, uh, with no problem. You could actually fit two people right here on the bench pad part if you wanted to, you know, gotta be a little bit smaller frame, but you know, it is what it is. And one other thing I really liked about it was, you know, it does come in a few different colors. You know, me, you probably heard me a few times. I like bright stuff, especially on the water. So I got a nice bright red. Also, my inflatable boat is a Saturn, so it has nice red Saturn letters on the side. So this kind of matches with it. And then we could just go over uh, some of the looks right now, some of the features. Okay, so here's an up close look at the front and the back view of this seat cushion. I know you probably didn't get to see much of it from the back on the uh, videos I took out on the lake. So there we go. All right, so the basics of it is obviously you have a cushion here on the top that rests on top of the actual bench itself. So you see we got the straps here. So not only does it just zip around, but it can tighten up and then be super secure. Of course it zips over it and that's fairly simple. You have a zipper in here for all your storage and you can get to that very easily. There's two different versions. There's one that has a zipper, I believe, and then there's one that has the Velcro. To me, I wanted the Velcro because I felt this was going to be something you could easily get to, like your phone, kept a small little uh, first aid kit in there. Be sure you subscribe to SK Lifestyle. Yeah, that's right. You just want to hit that subscribe button right there and that notification bell. And of course we have a place for our drinks so you can see there's like a brew mate that fits in there no problem and here's a like uh this is one liter bottle uh, let's see can i get it in there yeah now it's little things like this this strap here in the back when you take it off of the seat you can actually carry this whole thing by this strap it just makes it that much easier to move around with and stuff especially when you have a lot of luggage a lot of gear when you're boating and everything like that, it's nice. You can just walk this down to the dock over your shoulder or something. Really big, thick zipper handle here. Pretty good size. Very sturdy, thick zipper itself. This is the uh, little storage unit and pad for one of these bench seats. So I may end up ordering another one for the, for the other seat. So I think storage is gonna be key, especially for a boat like this, obviously there's none. All right, so now that Captain SK took you around some of the uh, uh, features that it has, front and back as well, uh, I wanna just discuss a few different things. Now, these cup holders, I was a little kind of suspect about them, but obviously they fit, you know, any kind of size can, a one liter bottle. They do kind of grip pretty well at the top. There isn't anything to kind of scrunchy it in but they do a very good job. So I have to definitely appreciate that. And they're large too. 
Mind you, if you're not using them for cup holders, you can throw some other things in them. Maybe like a pair of sunglasses or something. And you know, you got a little sunglass holder, bottle holder, quick access to your phone. The, the Velcro, it works. It's a pretty good patch. I, I probably would appreciate it if it was maybe twice as large. Maybe went a little further just so you know. But pretty much anytime it flaps down, it connects and it just Velcros. All right, and now for a really great segment. What can actually fit in here? I was impressed what you can fit inside, and I think you will be too. So let's go ahead and zip this open. And you can see right there, it doesn't all spill out. You know what I mean? It's just designed so that, you, I mean, something could probably fall. But for the most part, everything in there is going to be staying in there, even if you unzip it while it's on the bench. So that's nice. So now let's look at what I actually have in here. A snorkel pack, all right? A whole thing to snorkel with. What's this big thing? No, it's not an Intex uh, blow up bed, but it is a bag that I use to carry. Dun, 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 dun. A very large anchor with the tow rope, all right? So look at that. This is a hundred foot rope with the anchor. There's actually a random water bottle in there too. So snorkel kit anchor. Kind of a messy rope, but I wanted to throw it in there just for the visual. This is another like 50 foot uh, tow rope. I actually have the cover piece to the bimini top. So when you fold it down on the inflatable in the back, when you're not using it, you can wrap this around it to keep it nice and neat. I figured it'd be nice to keep in here, easy at the ready, and it definitely worked out on our vacation. I actually, now I carried around the uh, portable pumps. You know, you probably could see some of my videos on those, which are really great. But just to show you, I actually brought the full scale or, or the full size manual pump. And the first time I rode on the boat, I did actually bring it with me just in case anything went wrong. I wanted to know I actually had something that could do the job, no questions asked, no issues. I have a kit in here with like some of the manual stuff uh, for the boat. Some of the extra pieces, got like the whistle in there that you need. Um, you know, just some extra um, parts that came with the boat. Uh, little kit to patch up and so forth. So all that, and of course I kept all my personal documents like my life, uh, like my uh, watercraft license and you know, registration and all that in there. Then we actually have just another small piece of rope that, uh, you know, was using for like uh, tubes and so forth to connect them. A fire extinguisher, a nice size one that you would keep on any regular size boat, a lot bigger than the one that comes on my jet ski. And a small toolkit that came with the boat as well. And I actually think it was in that bag, but I took it out for some reason. And you could see here, they have these nice little tabs on either side, so you can grab that when you're going to zip and unzip, and it does make a, a big difference. Even though it's just a little piece of cloth, it just helps so much. All right, so tell me in the comments down below, did you really think it was gonna be able to hold all that stuff? And I'll be honest, if you wanted to cram some more in there, you definitely could. You definitely could have fit a small little, you know, uh, purse or something, or, or, you know, small dry bag. Definitely room to cram a bunch of little small things in there. So that's a lot of gear. And if you pack it right, it's going to sit in there nice. And you're able to get to everything because it opens up so wide. So I think it was really impressive. For me, I definitely plan on buying another one of these because there's two benches on our inflatable boat. And I figure we might as, have, might as well have one of these for both sides. Uh, just because, again, like I said in the video, there's uh, on the lake, there's just no storage on an inflatable boat otherwise. So other than your dry bags and everything, this is pretty much it in their clutch. Now, it's not waterproof in there, all right? So it can get water in there if it's splashing around and stuff. So you wanna keep, be mindful of that, anything that you're worried about. Obviously you wanna have in dry bags inside of this thing. And I say it's not waterproof, but this material in here, it would actually hold water in and thus I would assume hold water out. But because of the zipper and stuff, water can still get inside. So. Um, one of the other things I will say is the cushion is better than the hard metal. But 
you definitely feel it, especially if you're on a boat that's not moving that fast and you got a lot, lot of travel time, or even if you're not and you know, you're know you just feeling the bumps. Um, I think at some point I might try to replace the actual, uh, what do you call it, the foam that's inside. Now there is a zipper on the back of it just to open it, uh, open it up and then you can get right to the foam and you can see It's just basic foam, something that would be like in a packaging that you bought from like an Amazon thing or something like that. So it would be a lot easier or it would be pretty easy to get some kind of foam that would be maybe like in life jackets, maybe get some old ones and cut it in um, or just order something that's kind of like neoprene maybe so that it won't like absorb water because you don't want this getting waterlogged or whatever. Um, but it's just something to be mindful of, something that I definitely thought of. I will say too, my fire extinguisher, I just kind of had it in there. The pin, pin was in and everything, but it did bounce around a lot, especially when we were getting towed during a storm, which you could check that video up above. But when that happened, the pin came out and it did actually kind of uh, go off in there. So, you know, that's something you want to be mindful of uh, as well. Um, maybe just have it locked down and secured a little bit more. So I'll obviously be having to buy another uh, fire extinguisher for next year to ensure that we have a full tank ready to go. Other than that, I don't really have many complaints for it. It was fairly cheap. Of course, I'll leave the uh, link in the description down below where I bought it from on Amazon. I want to say it was like 20, 25 bucks off the top of my head. I can't really remember. Um, but it's definitely served its purpose and it really helped out and made things a lot more manageable on the boat, a lot less uh, chaotic. And just to have a little place that you can sit down. And one other thing I did is I actually have those little seats that you can use at like a baseball game or something that you go, you know, watch your kid's baseball game and you sit on and it's a lot more comfortable than the benches. I just used one of those on top of this. And I was obviously able to clip it on to this and, you know, into the bench as well. So it didn't really kind of move around that much. And so that double padding definitely made a big difference. So, you know, that's something to be uh, to think of as well. And of course, those things have the little backing. So it really felt like I had a little chair on here. Um, other than that, you know, leave your questions and comments down below. What do you think about this thing? Have you found something else that works a lot better? If you have, let me know have that discussion on the comments so other people can see it as well. Um, have you been looking for something like this and it really checks all the boxes? Leave those comments. I always appreciate it. SK will always get back to you. And hey, by the way, I just hit 6,000 subscribers. So to all you subscribers out there, thank you very much for your support. And if you aren't one, then become one. Help me get to that next milestone. Hit that subscribe button down right there. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's s.k underscore lifestyle. With that said, I appreciate your time. See y'all later.